Okay, I think we're just about ready to go here. So I just put the batteries in. As you can see, there's no light. Now when I flip that, hit push the button, the gas light comes on. So basically, this will not light up until the gas is turned on. Uh, probably just a safety feature so you can't run this accidentally without the gas or whatnot. Um, here is the five gallon uh, bucket. I have put the uh, f uh, filter end in there where it's going to suck it all out. And I'm going to also time to see how long this lasts um, just because I want to get a good idea of how long a shower could last on one bottle. And then here, so I had to buy this adapter. Um, this is an AC adapter with the female lighter plug because the Jolka's pump only comes with the cigarette lighter um, whatnot and this is meant to be like an off-grid thing where you use your vehicle's battery so um, I bought this it was $25, $30 on Amazon I believe and you need at least six amps so most of them are two, two and a half amps or then they jump to ten and with the uh, current drop and whatnot I'd recommend just getting the um, 10 amp You'll be able to see it here. It's 120 volt, uh, 10 amp output um, system. You'll have plenty of power to run the pump. Now, I did uh, turn this on and prime everything. So I opened up the shower head, uh, got the water to the shower head here. So the airlock is out of the hoses at this point. And uh, next, I'm just going to. Uh, Go and open up the valve for the gas here. So this is a little tighter than I'd probably like, but it'll do. All right. Now, okay, I'm just gonna see. I didn't hear the gas uh, wish out of there, so maybe I just don't have it. Um, oh, no, I don't have, I didn't hear the gas uh, kind of, uh, coming out of the bottle when I twist it. So I'm just going to check that out and then uh, we'll get going here. All right, they just uh, put the propane tank up here just so I could get easier access. I think everything was okay. Now I did go turn the water tap on. This light came on as soon as I did that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that on and then I'm going to come over here and adjust these dials here. So let's... Uh Oh, pretty good water pressure. It's going to reduce the flow here. Definitely going to adjust the head on that. About 40 degrees Celsius. Full flame on the burner. I don't know what temperature it's a good for this, but well, it's nice and warm actually. And two, give me a flame warning signal. Okay, that's uh, cool now. I'm just going to check things out here. Okay, so I got the temperature set where I think I want it. 40 to 45 Celsius. Um, I think that's about 85 to 95 Fahrenheit. Seems to be really nice temperature. I uh, refilled my little water bottle up because uh, this pump is a full proper RV pump and it sucks the water out of there fast. Um, the system shuts right off when it's not in use, so, so I thought it would be have a LED display all the time, but it doesn't. It just turns off, so that's fine. I just left the propane bottle up here, and uh, I think when I had that low gas warning before, it's just there was some um, uh, airlock in the hose because it's the first time I'd used it, so there's probably some oxygen in there, so it that got all pushed through. And uh, now I'm going to turn this on again and see how long this lasts. It's 
not too bad, but uh, I filled that up with cold water now. Let's just uh, check this out. Now I think a better way to do this would be to put it on the top when I get the tin and just have it more like a rain shower. But uh, I just turned the water flow down. And actually, Turning the water flow down makes a lot of sense because you use less gas to heat the water. You still get plenty wet. You see the bottle here hasn't been running very long. It's already down to about the shoulder of shoulder of the uh, bottle right there. The, this is getting pretty hot. I could probably even turn this flame down even more. Just go see the water here. Yeah, that's a nice hot shower there. And this water pump sounds pretty noisy, but it's um, just because it's on this wood. Vibrating off the, everything's vibrating here, but this water pump works really well. I'm pretty impressed. Holding it at a nice 45. That was just ice cold tap water that I uh, filled up out of the garden hose. So that's 45 C. So that's pretty uh, pretty warm. I think you could actually uh, crank up the uh, water flow if you had more water, and it would be good. But yeah, holds it nice 45. That'll make a great shower. Uh, in my situation, I'll fire run out of water before I ever have a chance of running out of propane. This hardly um, did anything. I feel still feels this fall. It hasn't even moved off the needle in the full mark. So I think the propane will never be the issue. It'll always be the water. But uh, yeah, this thing works great. See the water steaming off of there. And uh, let's just take a look here. Yeah, we're getting down to the last uh, bit there. I'm just going to turn this off. Okay, I just got the tap turned off. Worked awesome. And the one thing I really liked, you can hear it's quiet. I didn't turn anything off other than the tap. This operates exactly like the RVs do. As soon as you turn the water tap off, the water pump kicks off. So that's perfect. There's line pressure in there. Um, now the one thing is, this does suck uh, water, like that's not a whole lot of water, but it did drain that relatively quick. So I think what we'll have to do is when we have a shower, keep the flow rate down, get, get in, get wet, turn it off, get soaked up, turn it on, rinse off. I guess with one five gallon jug, assuming there's parents uh, there to supervise, you could probably do three kids if you're conservation minded. Um, my preference though would be to have a more of a permanent water source than just a bottle, but we'll use that for now. Well guys, that's it for the prefabrication of my uh, off-grid shower. In the next video, we'll be setting this up out at uh, the land and uh, hopefully it all goes back together just uh, the way I thought it uh, would. Um, there's a few things that were a little quirky bits that I'm really glad we got worked out um, before we went out there, like uh, how the gas and the system all works because it looks like it's not working, but really the whole thing shuts off. Um, before you turn the shower head on. Uh, also testing out how uh, quick it'll drain a five gallon bucket of water because we've got uh, restricted water use. Uh, a few things like that. So I think it's going to work great. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do um, before we head out is I'm going to build like a little uh, shower curtain rod and that'll keep the uh, doorway square as well and keep the whole top end of this thing square. I'll build that and then I'm probably just going to put some wood backing in behind uh, on the right hand side of the door just so I can put some uh, towel hooks on the outside after as well. 
But uh, other than that, I think we're ready to go. The thing's going to work. It works great. It gets up to temperature almost instantly. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this. This will really uh, be nice for the girls and uh, the kids here when we head out to the farm again. And uh, yeah, anyways, uh, let me know what uh, you guys think of this shower system. Leave your comments or questions in the description below. And I uh, will see you guys in the next video.